G'day guys, Mike from ABC PE here, the site where we make BC PE as easy as ABC. Today we are looking at CP depletion and hydrogen ion accumulation. And we've got two suckers here that are gonna help us out. Okay, what we're gonna do, we're gonna get Stockers and Caitlin to do 60 seconds worth of push-ups, but these guys are gonna alternate. 10 seconds, 10 seconds, 10 seconds, and in between they're gonna have a rest. All right, let's do it. Stocker, you're going first. Many as you can in 10 seconds. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four. So what's happening here? A little bit of CP depletion, but they're getting that little bit of rest through the aerobic system. So in that 10 seconds off, they're able to replenish some CP stores. So CP depletion isn't hurting them as much. They're maintaining a relatively similar amount of push-ups. Stocky started 11. Finished at nine, five. five seconds to go. Come on, Caitlin. All right, so that was 60 seconds of total time, but each of these guys only did 30 seconds of work and then 30 seconds of rest. Stocky's first 10 seconds went 12 push-ups, finished off with nine. Caitlin started with nine push-ups for her first 10 seconds, finishing eight. So there was a tiny bit of fatigue due to CP depletion, but due to that rest break in between, they were able to replenish some CP and performance wasn't as decreased as it would be. All right, now we've got the real sucker, Jazzy, who's gonna do 60 seconds all by herself. And now we're gonna see what are the fatiguing factors that really affect her performance. All right, Jazzy, ready, set, go. Okay, as you can see here, CP stores are full, which means ATP, CP system, the major contributing system, really fast rate of ATP resynthesis means she can do lots of push-ups. Okay, now you can see CP depletion has happened and increased use of the anaerobic glycolysis system. This system has a slower rate. This means that as you can see, the push-up number oh. is decreasing. <laughs> four and a half. All oh, right, Jazzy, that's four and a half for that last 10 seconds. Awesome job, mate, well done. So there you can see with Jazzy the effect of CP depletion and then hydrogen ion accumulation on performance. Her first 10 seconds, we could do, she could do 12 push-ups followed by her last 10 seconds only getting four and a half push-ups. That CP depletion has caused increased anaerobic glyc system usage, therefore hydrogen ion accumulation and inhibited muscular contractions.